you can say something. You're Jewish. Because it's not a conspiracy theory, it's in the future. And because Trent Reznor looks like Ross Geller. You can say tomorrow that it will rain hail and there will be fire everywhere. You can't rain hail, hail just falls from the sky. But the, ha. Th but the thing is, but the thing is though, this is developed over a long this is th th this developed over a long period of time and it's very realistic. This isn't like I'm just gonna pull something out of my ass. This is like. Hey. Hey, don't bash on Doug, woman. Hey, no, Doug is actually part of the government, so he's screwed even with this. You, this is where you're at. Yeah, that's where I'm at with this so, with the okay. Solutions Backward Initiative, which is a group of students, students professors, professors, and other people that are trying to develop that try to develop some sort of technology to send things uh, back in time to t to the year, I would assume 2007. Um, through quantum mechanics to prevent the dystopian future <laughs> and eventual apocalypse they live in from ever occurring, and that's where the websites and the music from years from the Year Zero alternate reality game are. They're implied to be part of the information packets sent through the wormholes. Now I'm gonna get to a more in depth timeline of stuff that actually. You want that? I'm trying no, to get you to the link. That's, no, that's the no, that's the campaign. That's like okay, this is what Trent Reznor did. Why didn't so, you just tell me what you wanted? I could have gotten it. I wanted this. Okay. All right, in-game timeline. Now, a lot of the stuff starts off. In, the first thing that, that we see is November 1986, when the International Court of Justice ruled in the case of the Republic of Nicaragua versus the United States of America that the United States had violated international law by supporting contra guerrillas in their war against the Nicaraguan government. The court ruled in Nicaragua's favor, but the United States refused to abide by the court's decision and refuses to pay the fine imposed by the decision. I swear, if we get flagged by this, I'm going to hurt you. We are going to get flagged by this. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, they've probably got me as a liberal militant already. And they got me as some guy that likes to talk about random I'm pretty stuff. Sure, I'm pretty sure they do. Believe me, I go on the liberal sites. And you're not even black. Um, yeah, but I go on the liberal sites. They have me down already. Trust me. All right, then, that's what she said. All right, then through other stuff like the Rwandan genocide, 9/11, and uh, Hurricane Katrina. Now we get to stuff starting in 2007 that isn't quite true. Like but, habeas corpus. Well, but you can make the argument that that actually was suspended for a period of time. It was though. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Isn't but, that funny that I even know that and I'm pretty. But dumb. it. Okay, so October 17, 2007, Military Commissions Act is passed, effectively suspending habeas corpus. January 20, 2008, President George W. Bush leaves office. Keep what does him, B.A. mean? Um, born again. Now, keep in mind all this stuff. Now, keep in mind this album came out in 2007, so a lot of the stuff you're going to see, like 2007, 2008, 2009, even 2010 stuff, you're going to be like, that didn't happen. But that's because Trent obviously can't predict the future oh, i'm he pretty just, sure he, this he, happened he he can just you know make us he can just say this that was happen. actually really close right, to happening again, again. all right he he could he can't while he can't predict the future because no one can he can say unless you're god he could say basically i he can make a realistic story about something that could happen So does a gay guy walking into a bar getting his head beaten. That doesn't mean anything. I know, I'm sitting here acting like a normal kid for once. Alright, anyway. February 22nd, 2009. You're a bitch. Oh, that was so hurtful. Yeah, I went there. Alright, talk to me. Hey, just talk to me. I'm the logical one here. He's not. I'm trying to watch a funny movie. Alright, I'm the logical one. Whether you whether you agree with me or not, I'm still making logical points compared to Sean. Yeah, you got a good point there. Thank you. All right. You guys are both bitches. <laughs> this is my... This is my laptop. On, yeah, I don't care. All right, February 22nd, 2009, the 81st Academy Awards are attacked by a dirty bomb utilizing ricin, or however you pronounce it. More bombs follow. Anaheim, California is attacked with biological weapons. Yeah, we got enough time. I was just making sure. Three days later, following the attacks in Anaheim, Los Angeles, California is evacuated. 
in March 2009, the United Are you States. Read all of these. I'm I'm gonna read the important ones, which is all of them. <laughs> the United States Fuck in, me. initiates. Seriously, think about what you're gonna say before you say it. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? The United States initiates nuclear think. strike. Nuclear strikes on Iran and North Korea in, re in retaliation for the rice and attacks in Anaheim. However, it's publicly contested whether there was any evidence that there should have been <laughs> attacks or not. On them, because they may or may not have caused it. All right, then August 2009, uh, because of continued aggression, many Muslim countries and terrorist groups united and declared jihad in the United States. Parapin is introduced in the public water in certain cities like Orlando, D.C., New York City, Atlanta, and Boston, and eventually the rest of the United States. The Emergency Measures Act is passed, which effectively restricts freedom of speech, and resulting and the resulting protesters are imprisoned and or executed. 105th Airborne Crusaders are commissioned. Then in September, Congress passes further laws that erode our freedoms and make U.S. military personnel governmental property. Where are you at? Um, um there. December, on Christmas of 2009, the 105th... Well, actually, that's not important. I was about to say they're, they're in Syria. Let's just say that. And here, let's just say this. In and 2013, then, a bunch 2000, of African governments fail. Yeah, and the African Union... Calls for help from the African yeah, Union. Yeah, actually helped. It made sense. Yeah. And 2015, the Indo-Pakistani War, Dang, the fourth of its one. kind. Yeah, just let me finish this one. Okay. Uh, which, it, the last... The most recent of which occurred in 1999, for real. Concluding with the mutual nuclear destruction of both countries. So we're <laughs> down two countries as it is right now in this world, all right? <laughs> now, Sean's got this one because he's a huge soccer fan. And this is, just happens on a normal basis. And 2018. The Chelsea incident at the 21st FIFA World Cup in England, in which football hooligans... <laughs> Brutally assault and kill an Argentine family. Two of the attackers had prior convictions, leading to increased public support for prisoner tracking device called Neurochips. But that really doesn't make any sense because that's an average soccer fan. Yes, that is true. But the Neuro, but just whatever. All oh, right. but then the Neurochips are involved. So All right, that makes a difference. In November of 2018, the first female president of the United States, probably Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Is impeached and convicted of treason. That'll be ten Which that's sad. <laughs> As a result, legislation is passed that ends free elections and allows the president to be chosen by a congressional panel. She is married to Bill, though. Now keep in mind, we've we our freedoms are eroding. Uh, as as I go through this timeline. All right. All right. Now, tw in April 2019, bioterrorism attack in Seattle, an attack is air quotes because. While the government says that the parapet in the water saved them, a lot of people wonder if that if that was just like a fake thing set up by the government to <laughs> sort of prove that parapet works or something like that. <laughs> we're in eight uh, minutes, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna finish this off, then we're probably gonna stop, and I'm gonna read a few more after this, and I'll be done. Uh, in 2020, Yay! Belize completely recovers from her from a hurricane Imigrad and later solicits citizen citizenship bonds in a spam email to Americans wanting to escape the United States. That's how bad it is right now in 2020. Why would 2020. you want to go to Belize? Because it's worse than the United States in 2020, apparently. Uh, and, then, and then here we go. An American diplomat by the name of Jed Mather is kidnapped by Algerian terrorists. He's exposed to the Red Horse virus and bleeds out to his death. And it's the recorded result, on videotape. Yeah, the resulting Mather law. Yeah, Why did I say that happy? On, on videotape. Yes, it's actually on YouTube if you want to look it up. The resulting Mather Law further strips Americans of the civil rights, particularly Muslim Americans, and in 2021, international corporations and world governments form the Coalition for Peace. And that's going to be the end of this video. I like McDonald's. <laughs>